Hey Randy, I know you're a big fan of musical theater, but did you know today's legend was the original Scarecrow in the hit musical The Wiz? You know, I've heard that somewhere before. But here's the great Stu Gillum telling the real story to Dick Clark in 1975. Do you sing and dance? <laughs> no, I don't do either one, although I just starred in a Broadway musical. I don't sing or dance. I look great sitting in a chair, but the minute I have to get on my feet, it's all over. What was the role you played on Broadway? I created the role of the scarecrow in the, in the show The Whiz. I'm Randy Hodgins. And I'm Steve McClellan. And while Stu Gillum never made it big on Broadway, he was an excellent stand-up comedian and a regular fixture on television and movies for more than three decades. Born in Detroit in 1933, Stu was raised in a middle-class family, but left home at age 14 to join the circus. During his army service in the Korean War, he entertained troops as a ventriloquist. After the war, Gillum performed his act in clubs with black audiences, including the Apollo Theater in New York City. He also performed for mixed-race audiences, but was prevented from appearing with white performers in southern states. It was Hugh Hefner's Playboy Club circuit that helped Gillum break out nationally, booking him into white and mixed-race clubs, including in the South. By the mid-60s, he was appearing on all the major variety programs, including Ed Sullivan, Mike Douglas, Merv Griffin, and the Dean Martin shows. Here's a sample. Well, a bachelor's life isn't the easiest thing in the world. If you cook like I do, I remember one week my television went out and I had to eat radio dinners for a week. <laughs> Gillum's stand-up success earned him guest roles on TV shows like Get Smart and Love American Style, as well as voice work on animated series like Scooby-Doo and the Harlem Globetrotters. In 1973, he starred in Roll Out, a CBS comedy about Army quartermasters in France during World War II with a mostly black cast. Here's a clip of Stu as Corporal Sweet Williams and a young Garrett Morris as Wheels Dawson. Will, you are uglier than homemade sin. I mean, you are necessarily ugly. We all got handed out a little ugly, but you went back the second. <laughs> and you're so crooked you'd pick the pocket off a kangaroo. <laughs> Will, you got enough ugly to start a whole new person. Now get away from me before you spoil my looks, because I know you an ugly carrier. <laughs> Rollout was canceled after just 12 episodes, but Gillum continued to work regularly in television and films as a guest star and featured player well into the late 1980s. He was also a familiar face on game shows, including a number of appearances on The Match Game. Stu's last two roles were small parts in Mel Brooks' Life Stinks in 1991 and Robert Townsend's Meteor Man in 1993. He married at age 74 in 2007 and spent his last years living in the Czech Republic. You can find out more about Stu Gillum and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. 